Hello students, my name is Kumari Shilpi. I am an assistant professor in Department of Management and Commerce, Mewad University. We already completed lecture 1 and lecture 2 on industries relations and labor enactment. Today we are going to do lecture 3 in which we are going to cover objective of industrial relations. What are the parties which is involved in the industrial relation? So let's begin with the first point. First of all, I just want to tell you that the primary objective of any industries or we can say the industrial relation is to bring a healthy good relationship among the employees and workers. The workings of industries are similar to that of the world. In other words, we can uh, be uh, said that it is a miniature world industrial relation and it is an interaction between the workers, supervisory staff, management and employer. Industrial relations are affected by economic, political, social life as well. Or we can say it is shaped by all these factors. Let's move toward the first point of the uh, objective, right? That is development of healthy labor management relations. Promotion of healthy labor management relations pre, uh, preposes the existing of strong trade unions and associations of the employers in the industry. These organizations en enhance the job security. It helps to increase the work participation in decision making as well as it provide a dignified role of the laborers in the society. The spirit of collective bargaining, willingness to take recourse to the voluntary arbitration, welfare work, whether statutory or non-statutory, provided by the state, trade unions and the employers create and improve the good healthy uh, environment or we can say labor management relation. So in short, we can say that when there is an industrial relation, it will help to develop the harmonious relationship among the various stakeholders who are there in the industrial relations. Development of healthy labor management relation is not only going to make the harmonious environment, but it is also going to develop the bonding, which is very much beneficial for the industries in the long term. It will reduce the conflicts which can be arises due to the problems in the industry like the strikes, lockouts, which is disturbing the whole system of the industries. So we can say that the first objective of industrial relation is to promote a betterment, doing betterment for the labors, workers and the better bonding and relationship. If we are talking about the second point, that is maintenance of industrial peace, right? So, we, uh, we already discussed that the machineries can be manipulated, but human cannot, right? Machineries for, uh, which I just want to tell you that there is a manipulation in machinery can be possible. If we are talking about the industrial peace, uh, if there is a proper act, law and a proper industrial uh, relations, it can help you to uh, uh, decrease the industrial disputes in the long term, which I already told you in the first point. Like enactment of various type of act was there only for uh, resolving or removing the problems in the industrial relations. These acts are like Industrial Disputes Act, Trade Unions Act, Industrial Employment Standing Order Act. Next one is if we are talking, there are so many committees which are basically made for promoting the industrial relations. Works Committee, Conciliation Office, Board of Conciliation, Court of Inquiries there, Labor Court, National Tribunal for the Settlement of Youth Disputes are there. Government should have even the power to refer the disputes to the adju adjudications when the industry is faced with an economic collapse and account to continued stoppage of production due to the long strikes and lockouts. So these things can be reduced if there is a better industrial relation. The so government enjoy the power of maintaining the status quo and the provision of the bi-period and tri-period forums for the settlement of disputes are there create maintenance, the implementation sale and evaluation committees which have power to look into the implementation agreement, settlement and awards. So we can say that for industrial peace, there were so many acts, there are so many resolution system available. Government is the major part for this. Next one, if we are talking about the next important objective 
of the industrial relation that is development of industrial democracy right so we have multiple points under this particular objective first one is participative mechanism so establishment of ship councils and joint management council at the floor of the plant level so we can say that that we can reduce the this problem of the problem or disputes or any issues related with industrial relation by promoting the people to participate in the councils as well as they have allowed they have a proper council and joint manage, management system next one is conducive environment if we are talking about if we are talking about the conducive environment a uh, conducive material and social environment where the workers can adjust and adapt the trade or the situation available in the workplace or the situ not trade actually it's situation available in the workplace so the environment should be like that that it can be flexible adaptation can be high constraint can be low for the adaptation next one is recognition of the human rights in industry so this implies that labor is no more an article so this is a very important thing that we have to treat worker as a human being they have equal all constitution right which every citizen of india is basically getting all the freedom rights right so it implies this point implies that the labor is not not a article it is not a object or the uh, or the commodity it is not an anything like this like we cannot treat the people as a commodity which can be purchased which can be disposed like whatever if you want to purchase a bottle we are using that bottle we are drinking water from that bottle and we are then disposing it but human beings are not like that right so uh, they can be treated as human being and we have to give them respect we cannot hurt their self respect definitely so this is the important term that we have to recognize workers that they have also human right like the other citizen in the country next point is increase the labor productivity so factor which contributor contributing to the higher productivity is improvement of skill of workers so we can provide the training facilities right improvement in production design better machinery system in improvement in output so we have to also focus on all these things that is also one of the objective of industrial relation to avoid the industrial conflict which we already understand that we have to reduce the disputes there are so many acts which is there so to avoid the industrial conflict or the strike and develop a harmonious relations which are essential factors for the productivity of workers and for the industrial progress and it will help you to to, to uh, the country to progress economically and the economic system should be will be strong not should be it will be strong right next one is cooperation of both but industrial relation is not only about that the workers have all the things to do but there is a proper safeguard it is also for the management and it is also for the workers and there it is required a proper cooperation between both of them next one is government control if we are talking about the government control so in case of the government control it government control the, like such units and plants which is running at loss there is a huge problem in uh, in these type of organization or these type of industries then human uh, then in that situation government have right to regulate a, 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 a regulate all those industries according to the public interest so we can say that that government control is also one of the important factor for developing the industrial relation why because if the companies or industries are sick or they becoming they are basically becoming dormant or it is basically in the uh, loss in the long run then government required to basically safeguard all these type of industries right so these are the uh, point let me tell you more about in the government control so uh, there are other important four objective not the government control there are other uh, four objective and that is uh, other factors or 
we can say other objectives are also there like improvement in economic condition of the workers in existing state of the industrial management and political government control of uh, the excise state or industrial undertakings with a view to regulate the production or promoting the harmonious industrial relations as well as socialization or rationalization of industries by making the state a major employer vesting the uh, proprietary interest in the workers uh, in the industry which they are employed so we can say that these are the basic objectives of the industrial relation so in short we can understand that industrial relation is helping the organization to grow country to grow if there is a no harmonious relationship the adverse effect definitely affect the whole economic life so we should always focus on industrial relation if you are talking about the role of industrial relation department there is industrial relation department in a every organization so management of policies and a uh, programs of industrial relation should be there so we can say that uh, the proper management and policies are required to develop or maintain the industrial relation in the company public relations so how the companies or industries are dealing with the other public in a country labor relations so within the how labors are basically interacting with each other how they are basically interacting with the management how what kind of bonding they have so the labor relation is also one of the important thing next if you are talking about the recruitment selection system is there it means that the industrial relation department also works on the recruitment and selection process how they are basically taking do those worker as a employee in the organization medical and health facilities what kind of medical and health facilities are required for the labor we should also work for the stress management we should give the rest time so these things are required how many people or employees or workers are there in the organization there should be a proper record for that so industrial relation department is also managing that they are also providing multiple type of training programs and facilities to the workers to enhance their skill so we can say that that the industrial relation department is a uh, that type of department which is working with all type of aspects of the industrial relations like the policies making public relation labor relation recruitment selection how we can choose the people medical and health facilities all the records training programs and that is specifically for the labors next if you are talking about next one is okay so next topic which we are going to cover i thought that is present in the slide but the next topic is what are the various parties which is available uh, for the industrial relation so we are going to cover that topic in the next class hope you all enjoyed this particular lesson in next class we are going to understand about the dominant aspects of the industrial relation and parties available for the industrial relation thank you so much uh, and uh, Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.